defending world indoor champion, world indoor record holder. This uh, winter you've competing in some individual events that show that you may be in yet again the best shape of your life. Are we going to see the best ever again tomorrow and the day after? Or will you treat the crowd to, to another breathtaking performance here in so Park? My aim is always to uh, treat the crowd and I think it's just because, you know, I've had uh, great crowds who've treated me and as far as I've heard, the atmosphere has been great and good atmosphere and myself being good usually are a good combination for us and good performances. So all that we can ask is to be healthy and uh, have a good competition. I think I'll have those two things. Uh, the, the men's uh, uh, heptathlon and the women's pentathlon will be held tomorrow, start tomorrow. And I know someone very close to you, your wife, will be competing tomorrow as well, so you'll probably be warming up and competing at the same time. Will you be busier uh, um, taking care of yourself or giving her uh, you know, advice? Or maybe, maybe your coach is going to be the busiest man on the track tomorrow. My coach will definitely be the most tired, I think, tomorrow. Um, but I think that this is the first time we've done a World Indoor Championship together. And I think the first time we competed at the same time in such close proximity, about the time along the long jump runway, I think she'll be doing high jump only about 20 meters away. So it'll be fun to kind of look over and cheer her on and see how she's doing and also get some encouragement for her because uh, we do practice together and I think it, it'll uh, increase our performances by maybe a feel a little bit more like that. Ashley, you, you were one of the, the first to congratulate Bruno Lavigny on you know, social media when he broke the pole vault at world record a few weeks back. And I think you know Renault quite well because he competed in Talence with you in the decathlon. And you decided this summer to compete in the 400 meter hurdles. So, you know, it's quite nice to see athletes try new challenges. What do you expect from new challenge this summer of the 400 meter hurdles? <laughs> well, first, um, when Renault decided to do the decathlon in Talons this summer, uh, he wanted to go for the decathlon pole ball world, world record. And I thought, I just thought really highly of him before, and after that I gained so much respect for him. Um, he warmed up with all the decathletes, he went through the whole decathlon even though he didn't get the world record. And uh, he just enjoyed the event, and I could tell he was a real sportsman. He just likes athletics, and uh, to me that's what it's all about. And I myself am one of those people, so maybe that's why I admire him so much, because going to do something like the 400 hurdles, it just sounded like fun. Um, I'm going to take it easy this year as far as the decathlon is concerned, so I can get ready for 2015 and 2016. And I like running the 400 and I like running the hurdles, so I thought it would be a good year to do that, get some fitness, and uh, try something new, and uh, kind of break up my training. All the best for that. Thank you. Uh, Natalia, thank you for being here as an IAAF ambassador. Uh, you're sat next to Ashton, and that's, there's really no coincidence in that. Uh, two years ago in Istanbul, if you guys remember well, uh, Ashton and Natalia broke world indoor records on the same day. Uh, and you, Natalia, became the first woman ever to break 5,000 points in the pentathlon. What do you remember of that special day? Take us through that special memory of yours in Istanbul two years ago. Я завжди дуже любила змагання багатоборств, багатоборств за три приміщення. I uh, always been in love with the uh, winter championships, indoor uh, championships. Istanbul я показала не найкращі свої результати, але цього було достатньо для того, щоб побити світовий рекорд. And in Istanbul I showed not the best result of mine, uh, but it was enough to set a new world record. Ashton також побив рекорд, але зараз з різниця між нами, що він продовжує, а я закінчила свою кар'єру. Ashton always set a new world record, but the only difference between us right now is that uh, Natalia is retired, I'm retired, and Ashton is still active. <laughs> but if Ashton will beat the world record again, uh, that might motivate me to get back into sports. <laughs> you know what you have to do, Ashton, now? Huh? Yes. <laughs> So, Ashton, I'll be watching you, so good luck and uh, please motivate me to get back. <laughs> Natalia, after your retirement last year, uh, the uh, Ukraine had a, a fantastic season at the Moscow, especially in the combined events. We remember that your compatriot Anna Manichenko won the heptathlon in Moscow. Are you close to her? Do you uh, 
thank you for her advice. Do you see her, as uh, she's competing here in Silkwood as well, as a, a medal potential tomorrow in the pentathlon? Well, first of all, I would uh, mean to say that it's the first time I'm not competing in the Winter Championship. But I do support uh, every aspect, not only from my own country. Because actually sport is uh, uniting the nations and uh, brings some peace. Аня моя дуже гарна подруга, ми з нею завжди змагалися разом. Anna is a very close friend of mine. We've always been competing together. І чим я зараз можу їй допомогти, це емоційно, тому що вона дуже професійна спортсменка. She is very professional, so uh, I don't see the potential to help to assist her in technique or something, only in the mental level. І в мене немає сумніву, що Аня вибере медаль на цій and I have no doubts that uh, Anna will, uh, will get some medal out of this championship. Natalia, you, you have recently been elected on the European Olympic Committee's Athletes Commission, and I believe you're quite a, uh, still involved in athletics, and you are a great ambassador for us as well. What, what are the values that you want to promote through your role on the Athletes Commission? Так, було переобрано нову комісію атлетів минулої осені. Yes, uh, last autumn uh, it was the new election for the management of European athletes. Я стала віце-президентом комісії атлетів. And I'm proud to be the vice president of European athletes right now. Сьогодні комісія атлетів розробляє досить амбітні плани та проекти на наступні 4 роки. And now commission is developing a very ambitious plans for following 4 years. Я дуже вірю, що зможу достойно поставити атлетику саме у комісії. And I believe that I will, uh, uh, will, will be able to represent the athletes, the athletics in the uh, international level. Моє життя тісно пов'язане з спортом, не тільки національним, а й на міжнародному рівні. Well, my life is very mixed with sports, not only the national, but also in the international level. Я аж ніяк не відчуваю себе пенсіонеркою. And I absolutely do not feel myself like to be retired. So uh, for me it's very hard to uh, bring some messages for the following generation because I am still current generation. I would like to say that sport should be the priority not only for sportsmen, for sports people, but also for a uh, majority of population. And of course the values of sports are also has to be delivered. Like honesty, integrity, ethics and respect. Well thank you Natalia. If you're bored tomorrow, okay, I'm sure you can get we can get your wild card if you want to compete tomorrow. Just think about it. All right. <laughs> Thank you, okay. <laughs> if we can go back to these gentlemen sat next to me, 